who used to go to those parties, parties mm -hmm. they knew that you don't have to bring lube to this one. Well, why would they? Wait, what? As soon as you walk in the door, they probably was lubing you up. Can you think about the black people who don't really like black people? I want an Asian boy to lube me up. Oh, oh. And they got a human salad bar. Oh, wait. <laughs> They was shut on, man. Yeah, they did here. Sick of nothing, guys. That's why the freaky shit went down, man. Okay, yeah. so we got some grapes. Who is that? And Will Smith. That, who is Will Smith with? Did he with the, uh... Yeah, that, that mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we know that nigga Will is freaky. Yeah, Will. He, Wait, he, nigga, is that Michelle Obama? Am I tripping? Nah, you tripping. What, right here? <laughs> <laughs> no, that hell no. I said Kanye did this shit, the same shit last year. I got sushi on her. I guess it's some Hollywood shit. Would you say that's typical Hollywood shit? No. Or it's normal Hollywood no, shit? No, normal would just be... But see, this is just one part of the party. Because, like, I... I've been to some Hollywood spots, some Hollywood parties where it's they got drugs, they got like coke and shit like that, like on the tables, and you can serve yourself, you can do that. But I've never seen nothing like that. That's what I'm saying. This is yeah. different level. This is like Illuminati higher, <laughs> like some black higher level. Well, they did, dude, dude, uh, motherfucker did say, um, um, uh, Puffy's uh, um, boule. I mean, that makes sense. It might be some boule shit we were looking at. That's some black. Some black higher up shit. It might. It makes sense. No, nah, that's different for sure, nigga. Bitch, just laying down. I'll be trying to sneak a picture, nigga. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'll, nigga, be, I'll probably yeah. be sending it to your ass. Like, look at this bitch on the. That nigga like, nigga, I ate a grape off her. But shit, what's the difference between? <laughs> record. I don't really don't record anyway. Yes. I just, I just not that. I don't never re type pull up my phone. But I for sure remember that shit though. Like nigga, nah, niggas is eating off the bitch. Shit, niggas recording right now. Look, they taking a picture of everybody. See, that's nigga. messed up though. Cause when he just showed up, he didn't know it was gonna be like that. Now he getting thrown in the ditties. That's what a lot of people going through right now. That's a lot of shit. For what sure. is that? I kept seeing all that shit. It was like somebody circled. Somebody circled. It's a kid right there. So they like y'all doing this. Why it's a kid? Right? It's a kid. In the that could have been like a little person, a midget or something. Nah, it was like kids. But man. there was that one video where they was talking about they called this lady like the witch of Hollywood, and like she was dancing with Jay Z. Like yeah, the, the she was doing. <laughs> but the entertainment, it, it, it's so funny though because when you think of like actors and stuff, because you know I did I did like theater and stuff like in high school, and you do gotta have a. It is a certain type of weirdness. Cause I looked at myself, I'm like, I am kind of weird. Like I am like different in a certain, I get or artistic, I guess in a certain sense. Yeah. So like people that do music, actors and stuff, it is a different, it is a certain type of artistic, I guess, uh, trait that we have. But like that type of shit, that's that's different. No, I seen something too. Uh, yeah, wait, scroll down. Um, is that the name from Simon uh, Cow holding some little girl? See that. I'm telling you, ever since Cat Williams jumped everything off, man, shit been going crazy this year. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. It said a tunnel was discovered under Diddy's luxurious Los Angeles mansion. An underwater swimming tunnel leading to a mysterious grotto Reminiscent of ancient and modern human use of caves. But, um, I mean, that's just rich shit. I ain't... But that's why I looked at a lot of them, a lot of them, on um, the big mansions in Hollywood, and whatever, they, they're connected by tunnels. Playboy magazine reports it has just discovered blueprints for a network of tunnels beneath the mansion that supposedly led to the homes of Jack Nicholson, Warren Beatty, James Caan. Were you watching Sick and Kirk Douglas. Now dig this, a photo from the late 70s allegedly showing an excavation in progress beneath the mansion. 
And this one shows the newly discovered tunnel plans. Check out the bunny logo on the plywood wall. Best of all, the blueprint. It says this tunnel leads to James Kahn's house. This one to Jack Nicholson's. This one to Kirk Douglas's. And this one goes all the way to... You and Jack Nicholson had your own secret passageway into the Playboy Mansion. No. Is that true? Well, I think the story was printed that we, there was a tunnel. Playboy.com staff members released some blueprints that they found a few years ago that show underneath the Playboy Mansion is a series of tunnels that were constructed to link Hugh Hefner's world-famous domicile to the homes of Jack Nicholson, James Caan, Kirk Douglas, and Warren Beatty. The blueprints, which show that the construction project was built in the 70s and 80s, were discovered in the Playboy archives by staff writers looking for a juicy story, kept under wraps for so many years. Everyone knows Nicholson and company were up to no good back in the day. They were the bad boys of Tinseltown and lived a free and loose life. It's fascinating to think what those tunnels might have been used for. The Getty Museum, L.A. Escape, Charles This is video she said she went through. I've seen, I seen it before, but she said she went through a tunnel through the museum. They went, they went through the museum. Hold on. My pimp uh, put me on an order to go to the Getty Los Angeles California Museum um, I was told I was going to walk through a field trip I was taken with another uh, another girl um, I call a friend of mine and um, we were uh, put in dresses and sandals we were taken in a sports car. We were we not were not taken in a sports car. We were um, we pulled up to the museum in a sports car. We were told that we were trying to give um, a different appearance. So we were walking through. I remember walking through kids. I remember walking in and seeing school buses. I remember walking in and seeing children and chaperones um, through the museum. And I remember people staring at us as if it was a as if we were somebody special. Um, we walked through the museum. Um, there are, um, or excuse me, I'm sorry, employees that uh, know exactly what's going on in the museum. They block the doors. They uh, know where the entrances and exits are. They uh, take their orders from someone else when someone is trying to get underground through the Getty Los Angeles Museum. Um, I was um, walked through. I uh, remember taking stairs, going through a garden, taking an elevator. Um, I was drugged, but I was walking. There are many situations um, in trafficking where you can be um, alert. Some of my pimps did not let me see where I was going. Sometimes I was so drugged that I was carried into a job, dressed and then placed in a room and waiting for my order um, because I couldn't move myself. So at this time I was able to walk, I was able to see what was going on. And I remember um, walking through, I remember talking um, to certain people after we got so far. I remember um, my ears popping. I remember feeling like I'm choking because the air was so weird. Uh, we got to a certain point and there was, um, it looks like a basement. It looks like uh, where they keep things that were not um, public display in a museum. Um, and after getting so far, uh, we were in tunnels. We were uh, put on cars, drove to a certain point um, far. I seen <laughs> um, sorry, I seen um cars, boats. There's trains, there's buses, there are there is every means of transportation under the ground. Um, 
there's a city under the ground. There are um, there's a different air supply uh, that kicks in after you get so low. Um, I'm assuming she was being interviewed, and I guess she was like, uh, she's. It says some she escaped from sex trafficking or some shit. But she said when they were walking her in, people were looking at them as if they were like cele like celebrities she's, almost, but the, like they were. I'm assuming she said because she said it was kids there. I'm assuming that she went that she went to there while there were there was uh what's that called people were field trip like an actual on. real field trip but then she was getting taken to the underground park yeah i don't know if she was on a field trip or she was just she was uh, arrived there while there was field trips happening happening yeah because yeah. it is a museum but then inside the museum is that that's what they that's, what that's a said. trip that's crazy but i did hear about i seen some other pictures and it was like yeah, underground little city. I mean, but how many? They say how many kids go missing every year, and they don't know yeah. why. They don't know where they go. True, there's something going on. It's there's definitely something going on. But then that goes back. I mean, there's hella kids that go missing and they don't know where they go. And then it was hella black. Remember that one year it was like hella black women going missing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Could like a lot of shit could be true. You see, nigga, this man, like it's gonna be some real sick shit going on. Motherfuckers do not know about. Well, there was a documentary that I. I wanted to watch it. I forgot the name of it, but it was about the sex trafficking. It was this guy, he went undercover. He went undercover to try to free all these kids and stuff, but it was a sex trafficking type of thing, but it was it was crazy. I, damn, I forgot the name. Hmm. But that's that's crazy, man. All right, ooh. Nigga, hold on, look at this. Industry grooms them to be over to it. Like if we go back to the Big Papa video, all right? Why is the lead person out of all the bad bitches in New York City back then, even the women in the video, right? Why was the lead a trans in, a transgender? Why was there, you remember the scene in the bathroom? Why was there a transgender pissing in the bathroom with the, in, in the guy? You, you don't remember? up, right? Yeah. That's you don't remember there's a woman? And a what made them want to put that in the video? That's what exactly. I don't know. What, what relevance did I have in the video? Exactly. With Klepto, Klepto and I can't remember who the other person is. And they looking at the, the nigga Ding Ding and, and why they standing at the urinal. Like, why is that in there way back then? Got you. And I'm just, I just pulled Now look the at the girl with, go to the scene when Bus is talking to her at the, at the bar. And big walk up and, and and move the nigga, and then or when she say true, stop it right there and look at the knot in her throat. The knot in her throat. Come on, come on, this young lady. That's her. You think about it. Look at her. It zoom in on the throat. Or like it could be a man. Women can have a little. Is that like nine? Her name is Shamika. She was from Queens and she got killed. Cause she was a nigga who was dead, uh, didn't know it was a man, and went to have sex with her and found out she was a man and she's dead and he's okay. in jail. So you know the story. So when you see that, are you alluding to they 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 sprinkle it in there? They subconsciously make you comfortable with it, bro. Cause that is weird for not to say weird as a derogatory, but yeah. it doesn't make sense why that scene would be in a hip hop video when hip hop was so much about masculinity and. Da, 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 da. And so it's see. supposed to be homophobic, right? That was so they say, right? Right. But we so, weren't thinking about transgenders back then. And, but they're there. Okay. What I believe is that the Tupac Biggie sh got so gangster and so big that the agenda that they was about to push on us, that they were later pushed on us, uh -huh. it just got pushed back. Okay. They was they was getting ready to groom us right there. They was grooming us. We got a transgender in the Big Papa video in the bathroom and the lead woman. Not only in in, in Big Papa right. and warning she's in the bed with Biggie. And then in the flavor in your air remix, she's dancing my LL. Right. And yeah, Hype right. Williams is director and she's the lead in all three of those videos. And he's the director of all three of those videos. And it's rumored that that was his chick. Or a nigga or whatever. Right. That's crazy. Okay. And we can leave people to maybe investigate more 
on this, but that is, I mean, you saying some stuff that does have me question because I remember that scene and I remember more so laughing at it because I thought it was like a joke as a, as a youngster. Like, why is the lady in the, you know, she playing along. I didn't think that that was the, I didn't think about it now in hindsight. Right. And see, and they was grooming with us. They was, they was trying to groom us as a culture. Because right now, when you think of the LGBTQ community, who you think about? I do think about us. Black people. Yeah, because right? they, they... How often do you see a, a, a white guy running around... 